Baseball season may be over for the Cubs, but White Sox fans hope they've got a while longer to cheer on their team. They got started this afternoon with a rally outside Guaranteed Rate Field. Amanda Venneke joins us now from the site of this pre-playoff event. Amanda, what's happening over there? Well, Brandis, it was a party this afternoon outside Guaranteed Rate Field. I'm sorry to say that you've missed the party by now. It just ended at 7, but this Change the Game rally had a lot for fans. Get their pictures taken with the Sox mascot, Southpaw. You can snack on beefs and pizza, dance along to a DJ, get your picture taken also with a bobblehead, a giant bobblehead player, and you can compete in a quiz to win some White Sox merch. Everybody who entered also also got a change the game banner and a poster of the American League Central Division Championship team. Now I did meet a bunch of fans waiting in line for some of those activities, including Ozzy Chavez, who grew up watching Sox games with his dad and his uncle. His given name isn't actually Ozzy, but his uncle started calling him that in 05 when the Sox won the World Series and it stuck. It's what he goes by now. As a fanatic, it's really fun, don't get me wrong. It's so much fun when you're inside that stadium, you feel that energy, you feel that positivity on that vibe. You can meet new people, so on and so forth. And this is the South Side. We all come here as a community. We all come here to have some fun at this game. And the Sox have built this team for years and brought in some former Cubs players along the way, which makes things, you know, a little bit of crosstown fun. They won the American League Central Division, will play two games in Houston starting Thursday before heading back to Chicago Sunday. The Sox made the playoffs last year, too, but because of COVID, fans could only watch on TV. Even those who don't have tickets to Sunday's game say the opportunity to actually attend games in person this year is something they didn't take for granted and players shouldn't either. Now, this is a team that won the Field of Dreams game in Fox, and that's fans say that it is not a stretch to dream that the Sox will win big this year. Let's go all the way and win this thing. We're ride or die, White Sox fans. I think we have the probability we could win the World Series. I think they're going to do great. What they say, cream always rises to the top. And we full of cream over here on the south side of Chicago. You got to stand next to your team being the south sider here. You got to have loyalty, and that's what we have for this team right here. How good is this team? This team can go all the way. They're at a crescendo, but I didn't feel that way in 2005 either. So we'll see. I'm always fairly pessimistic about it just because I love it so much that I hate losing. Actually, probably more than I like winning. So I'm always not that confident, but I'm excited. First time we've been able to go to a game, playoff game in 13 years. So. There's only one team in Chicago. It's 35th and Shields right here. Now, the Sox last won the World Series in 2005 and then had to, of course, stand by and watch as the Cubs brought home the title in 2016. Now, this is the year they hope to bring it back to the South Side. Now, again, the Sox playing in Houston for a couple of games, but for returning on Sunday, well, they'll be playing right here at 35th and Bill Veek Drive. You hear that enthusiasm, do you, Brandis? With I a whole lot of it. cheers, back to you. Thanks so much, Amanda. Clearly some excited fans out there today. And later in the program, we'll talk with White Sox general manager Rick Hahn about the upcoming playoffs and more.